And unless you're their parent, we can't really say what they should and should not be posting. That's not up to us. Um, if we see something detrimental that the boy is doing, then we all know as, um, as mandatory, what's it called? Mandatory reporter. reporter, thank you. As mandatory reporters, we have to say something. But other than that, we can't really mandate what they put on their own private Facebook. Um, Wait get, a minute, has yeah. that changed from the guidance that we had not too long ago? Because one thing that was an absolute essential was if one parent didn't want their child to have that information posted on someone else's page, we had an obligation to prevent it from happening. Right, but we're saying right now on their own private Facebook. So no, if they're posting a photo. Another scout posting something uh, that a picture that he took of, you know, Scout A posting a picture or something about Scout B or Scout yeah. C, and Scout C's parents don't want that posted. Sure. That's where open communication comes into key when it comes to social media. So we do have an obligation. Right. To effect some control, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, in situations like that, I guess I should clarify a little bit more. We can't. We can mandate what they do when it comes to scouting, right? But when it comes to their every other day life, if they're posting something about football or if they're posting something about their girlfriend at school, Classmate, that's whatever. not up to us. That's up. That's up to them. Yes. Isn't that where you would use the cyber chip into play? Mm -hmm. They're taking their stuff on camp out. They should already be trained in that. Yes. In order to take that with them. Yep. Okay, tell me what that is. What was that? Tell me what that is. You're referring to... The cyber chip. They actually have training requirements for them to use electronic Ah, so like a totem chip? Scouting. It's a cyber yeah. chip? Okay. Because we just got a new role in scouting too, which is the tech something, right? You get the kind of corner Webmaster. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, let me see. Let's go to, we'll start on Facebook, This is because this is the biggest one, right? <clears throat> um, how many of you guys have a Facebook page for your troop already? Or unit. I mean, you got or a couple, unit. You got packs here. That's great. That's awesome. Um, so we have two different things to work with when it comes to Facebook. We have pages and we have groups. And these are two very different things, and this is something that people get confused a lot. And one of them, if you confuse them, one could be a lot more dangerous than what you want it to be. So we're going to go over on how to make this safe and make it efficient. Um, let's talk with uh, the differences really quick. Groups are a private, it, it's, it's more private. That is for the leaders the parents and the scouts and only those people a page is for the public so if you think about it in the sense of a business a, a group would be like if you worked at Northwestern Mutual and it was the accountants group <coughs> then that would just be for them and that's that only group however Northwestern Mutual has their page that people can like and get updates about so the way that you go about making a group safe is by making a group what's called secret. So when you're, when you're creating your group, you're going to have a couple different options. There's going to be three. There's public, which means that anybody can join, no matter what, and you do not want that option. There's private, which means that people can still view your group, however they cannot join or post. And you don't want that one as well. And then there's secret, which means that it's basically an invisible group to the public that the only people that are able to look at that information are those that are invited or added by somebody that runs that group. Does anybody have any questions on that so far? Yeah. I don't have questions, but it sounds like uh, we want two different things. You want a public face for the public. Exactly. And you want a private face for your internal use. Exactly. Is that two different Facebook pages? This is a group right now. So okay. there's two different things. There's a group and okay. then there's a page. Okay. We have both. Yeah, we have both. Okay. And what we do with the group 
is, it's a lot easier for us to communicate with the boys that way, it feels to me, because they're not using email as much as what we used to. Um, I mean, honestly, all of my professional business, like when I'm freelancing, uh, teaching improv and stuff, that's all done through social media now, that's all done through Facebook, and that's kind of the way that we're moving in trends through communication. So, if the boys have a Facebook, it's going to be a lot easier for us to contact them or young parents through a group. Because they're going to get an automatic update on their phone with that little red one that everybody hates to see. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as they click it, they have to respond to it. Um, it's also really good then to kind of double your email. Because uh, what I'll do as the audience coordinator is type something into the group, post it there, copy and paste it into an email, send it out that way. They're getting, they're getting two updates right away. They're gonna respond to you because they just don't want to get any more updates. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the annoyance tactic that sometimes we have to use. Okay, good. Um, so the way that you create a group is when you're on your computer or even on your phone. Um, if you go to groups, it's gonna be on your left-hand side of your page. Should we show it? Um, we could. It's really simple. Okay, go ahead and talk. Um, if you just click on the left-hand side, it's going to say Groups. And then when you click that, there's going to be a little button that says Create Group. All you do is create your group, and it walks you through the steps that way. Just make sure to make it secret. That's how to keep it safe. Any questions so far? Am I boring you guys to death? <laughs> Good. The next thing that we're going to talk about is a Facebook page. So this is the public one. And this for, I think, scouting as a whole is probably one of the more important things. Um, we want to do outreach as scout leaders to get people more involved, and this is one of the ways that we're able to do that. So. Uh, when you're creating your page, it's, you're going to do the exact same thing of just clicking on page. And this is public. We can't go secret with this at all. That's what a group is for. So no matter what you guys create, it's going to be public. Know that when you're posting things. No last names. You don't really say upcoming campouts that you're going on. It's, all, it's, it's pretty common sense. So use your head when you guys are posting on it. Make sure that anybody that runs it too knows that. You're going to have different categories to choose from when you're creating your page. And one of them is uh, company and organization. You click on that one. Then it says subcategory, and you just click organization. There's a lot of different options. Um, Tom, uh, I guess what is our page like now? What is that set up as a group then? Or a page. No, that's a page. That's page. an organization page. Okay. The River District one? Yeah. yeah. So this is used for outreach. Um, basically, it's a way to update the public. So if your charter is based out of a church or, um, or anything like that, it's something that people who may donate money to your troop to see what's going on, to see where their money is going, or to make sure that the boys are staying involved. It's also a really easy thing if you guys have potential scouts that are interested in joining. I mean, I still make photo albums because I like them, but it, those are going away. <laughs> um, and it's all becoming digital now. And this is a really great way to post photos that are safe, that you can show people that are potential scouts. It's like, okay, cool, we went whitewater rafting. You want to see a photo or you want to see a video of us going down a waterfall? Here it is, boom. Uh, content, really quick. The main thing that people do that's the biggest mistake when it comes to a page is posting every single photo that was taken on the trip. Not everything is important. Just remember that. Uh, simple, simple, simple. <coughs> Yeah. When you're posting your photos, are you stripping off the information such as date, time, location? Because a lot of that people like to GPS 
information and if we're posting them live or, or real time in uh, Maui or something? 